Well, so whenever I was growing up, I didn't think I was going to be a Christian musician uh, for the main reason that I was neither a Christian or a musician at the time. Uh, what I was doing whenever I was growing up, whenever I was in high school, I, I was playing rugby pretty much every hour that there was. I, I really thought that that was going to be a, a whole life thing for me. Uh, it seems crazy now looking back on it because I, I currently have the physique of a recovering marshmallow. But um, back then I used to think it was tough and uh, you know, I, I would get selected for the trials and things like that for the Ulster team, which was a big deal wherever I, where I come from. And uh, you know, that whole thing was my identity, I guess. I, I was pouring a lot into it. I was really obsessed. And then when I was 17, uh, I feel like God really just intervened into my life uh, through an unusual method actually, through a 300 pound child <laughs> who tackled me and destroyed my shoulder uh, when I was playing a match that I probably shouldn't have been playing. And uh, it was through that injury and the recovery process that I kind of realised how out of whack my life had become, how out of control it had got, the obsession with rugby, the complete uh, blinkers on where I couldn't see that there was anything that could be more important than that. I hadn't considered my faith in years since Sunday school. And so while I was kind of laid up and uh, my shoulder was, you know, destroyed, <laughs> I started getting into music again. I started playing, playing the guitar and I actually started reading the Bible again, which I hadn't done for years. And it was through reading the Bible that I encountered the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit really spoke to me through this verse in Revelation chapter 2 that speaks of God wanting us to either be hot or cold, uh, but never be lukewarm in our response to Him. And I guess I realized that I had been very lukewarm in my response. I had kind of tabled the whole conversation about God and church and Christianity and faith, uh, thinking I would just get round to it closer to when I died and when I would have to think about going to heaven. <laughs> After that moment, I, I never really cared about rugby again, and uh, I, I started going to church, and this uh, lady called Louise uh, asked me if I had ever thought about leading worship. I didn't really even know what that was, but apparently it was some form of karaoke where you play Matt Redman songs instead of uh, pop music, and I, I was in. <laughs> I thought I would give it a try, and it, it's kind of taken my life in a completely different direction to what I ever thought it would. But for me, that this story, looking back on it, I guess, is almost a story about how God can take what seems like a disappointment, what seems like a broken dream, and turn it into something so much better. Whenever we experience suffering in our life, sometimes it's actually God's kindness. Sometimes it's actually His, uh, His goodness that causes us to suffer because He knows that He's twisting something, that He's working something for, uh, for a greater good. And yeah, that's my campfire story.